Hi, this is Stan for On The Edge. How do you want to be remembered? That's right. How do you want to be remembered? First of all, from an eternal point of view, uh, what do you want your uh, creator maker to say? Well done. You did a good job. Your promotion is assured. Join us. Yeah. How do you want to be remembered there? Also, the late uh, mentor and I would say probably the creator of management consulting, uh, Peter Drucker, after many years of being the leader in helping CEOs uh, manage, turn around, and arrange their companies for the future, came to the conclusion that he really could not help a man or a woman in their life and their business unless they could answer the question of St. Augustine. How do you want to be remembered? By the way, we will all be only memories someday. And what do you want those memories to be? And perhaps it's a key for living on the edge that we always are thinking about when we're gone. How do we want to be remembered? And that's something you should think about when you make any kind of a business decision, how do you want to be remembered? And I remember when I told this story to a group of young people in a college presentation, one young woman uh, stood up and said, that's a great question. But you know, I'm not going to think about that right now. I believe I've got many years ahead of me. But I am going to think about it in terms of the work and the business I do. Every time I'm in front of a, a student or a, a, a client or a customer, every time, I'm going to ask myself, how do I want them to remember this conversation, this transaction, this service? Because every time I'm in front of people serving them, working with them, helping them, I simply want to say, there's a tombstone for that. There is a way that I want to be remembered. And let's see if I can carry it out. Good counsel, even from the youngest. And I just uh, assure you that particularly in these difficult times, asking yourself the question, how do I want to be remembered, is vital for those of us who are indeed living on the edge.